Well, hello, and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your twice-weekly dose of the finest 2A propaganda. Dude, <laughs> did you guys see that pic of the rifle that one loser used, uh, allegedly used to take a shot at Trump? It was an abused SKS that looked as though it got locked in a room with Cletus and a big-ass pile of meth. It featured a custom polymer low tensile adaptive scope mount providing solid contact between the bolt carrier and the objective bell of the scope. Tape the, uh, the naughty tape. The shooter fashioned a sunshade out of a responsibly sourced Rexall store brand medicine box. Now, novice shooters tend to attach these to the other end of the scope to reduce glare from the sun, but a professional shooter like this guy uses a sunshade the other way around to improve his focus. The pros call that scope vision. Naturally, he removed the bayonet to improve accuracy and reduce barrel harmonics and only loaded his 30 round magazine with 10 rounds to reduce barrel drag. It's a good thing this man never had a chance to crank one off because he's the sort of dude who never misses. Oh yeah, and he destroyed his serial number so the feds could never trace him because that's how things work. In all seriousness, this rifle is a photo essay on why only a deranged, stupid person would attempt to alt F4 a former and would-be head honcho. I mean, no matter what your politics are, you gotta be dumb and nuts to try something like that. Are you crazy? I just plain stupid. But hey, it would be impossible for us to produce quality 2A propaganda without sponsors. So. Let's pay some bills. Today's video is sponsored by Vortex. Their new Defender line features a constant on emitter with no flickering and shake awake feature so it's always ready. The Defender CCW is impressively compact for daily carry, the ST is a bit larger, and the XL is an absolute beast with one of the largest windows available on a micro red dot, making it ideal not just for a competition pistol, but also a pretty good choice for a fighting rifle or a shotgun. We've been running their new Defender line of red dots hard since before launch. They found a home on all of our guns, whether for concealment, competition, or anything in between. They're rugged, packed with features, and they flat out perform. With the CCW, ST, and XL, there's a dot for you. And let's not forget their no questions asked VIP warranty that covers just about anything. And by Franklin Armory, anything worth shooting is worth shooting twice. And now, while supplies last, you can go binary for less because both the discontinued straight and curved fixed trigger models for the AR platform are deeply discounted to make room for Franklin Armory's brand new interchangeable trigger bow model, the AR Elite. And by Hydra, the Mark 15 Hydra is the most versatile black rifle platform the industry has ever seen. The most you will ever need to convert calibers is a barrel, a bolt, and a magazine well. President Biden's corpse shook his fist at the sky and threatened gun control executive actions. And he used that no-nonsense, no-malarkey voice with the furrowed brow and the squinty eyes so you would know he's very serious, too. Oh, shit. Is, is, he, is he still president? I mean, officially. Do you think Kamala has already moved her furniture over from the Naval Observatory? Anyway, he seemed real serious, but they didn't give any specifics either. They could certainly do something radical, like ban private sales altogether, claiming the Bipartisan Gun Control Act allows it. I never go to law! I am the law! Tying us up in court for, for years, but that wouldn't really surprise you, would it? At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just a bunch of mostly harmless nonsense. And I also wouldn't be surprised if the control freaks used the Biden lame duck regime to lob a metaphorical hand grenade in the room and just assert broad authority to ban guns or mandate storage requirements or who knows what. Honestly, nothing would really surprise me at this point. So what do you folks think? What executive actions will Biden drop on the way out the door? Could we be looking at a somewhat kinder and gentler ATF sometime soon? Kem Edwards of Bearing Arms reports the NSSF filed a FOIA request with the ATF asking for, holy crap, that was a lot of acronyms, asking for information about a policies and procedures document issued last month with changes to revocable offenses for FFL dealers. They seem to believe the ATF might have eased off the zero tolerance policy imposed by Diddlebritches, and that might be the case because former Deputy Assistant Director of the ATF, Peter Forcelli, says... 
there was some tremendous pushback from field agents when the zero tolerance policy came down. I mean, honestly, there's only so hard they can push before they shoot themselves in the foot with their relationships with gun shops. So it does sound believable, but at the same time, I understand this is pretty thin and somewhat speculative. However, I thought it worth relaying to you folks. So let me know what you guys think about all of this down there in the comments. Another authoritarian politician just accidentally said the quiet part out loud. I really don't care. I don't give a damn about partisan. I don't care about Democrat, Democratic politics, Republican politics. We don't have any interest in this whole debate about Second Amendment rights. That was the mayor of Birmingham, Alabama, admitting out loud he is uninterested in constitutional rights. Oh, and uh, he also asked Congress to pass a ban on so-called assault weapons before fallaciously claiming the 10-year period in which the 94 ban was in effect was the lowest form of gun violence. In that 10-year window, saw the lowest, lowest form of gun violence. We don't use that word in here. I can only assume he meant lowest rate because lowest form would have to be some kind of depraved Harry Potter shit. But crime in general, and violent crime in particular, was not at its lowest point during the ban. Crime continued the same downward trend from before and after the ban, and the DOJ had to report the ban had no notable impact on crime. If you'd like to tell the mayor he's wrong about the assault weapons ban and he's wrong for not caring about the Constitution, you can reach him at 205-254-2771. The ARFCOM Dallas crew hung out with the humble marchman to shoot SIG's new P320 X5 SXG, which is a steel frame match-oriented take on the 320. So when you're finished with your moment of zen, why not pop over there and see what they had to say about it? Now, for your moment of zen. Well, friends, do you like pews and pew-related things? Would you like to help us keep delivering you pew American pew and the FOMO price of free? <laughs> we literally couldn't pay the bills without our sponsors, so do us a solid and get yourself something nice from them. You deserve it. I love you.